Now in my environment file, you can see I've set up an SQLite database. And that's because we'll be discussing eloquent date casting. So let's go to the default create users table migration and we'll add something here. Like maybe a user expires in your system. When they sign up, but at some point their account expires. Something like that. So we'll say a timestamp for expires at. And we'll now give this a run. Okay. And then one final thing, uh, because we've added a new column here, let's go to user factory and just add a new item here. Expires at will be, let's use the today helper and we'll say maybe add a month. If you're not familiar with today, let's take a look at that. It's on illuminate foundation helpers and it's just giving you a carbon instance for today. So that means I can, I can do whatever I want there. I can add days to it. I can add a month. I can add a number of months, anything I want. Let's stick with that. Okay. So now let's boot up PHP artisan tinker and I will quickly whip up a user using a model factory here. And we can't see the carbon instance there, but yeah, if I were just to grab a fresh instance from the database, here's what we have. So expire set is one month from the time of this recording. Okay, great, but what if we wanna configure that? And this is what's new in Laravel 5.6. We could go to our user model, and as you may be familiar with, we have uh, attribute casting here, and we'll say expires at, uh, let's do this as a date, and yeah, now we can specify the exact format. So maybe you want the year, the month, and the day. Now this is possible on a per attribute basis. Let's try it, PHP artisan tinker, once again, find the user. And yeah, now anytime it gets cast to an array or to JSON, like when you return from a controller or fetch it from an API, you'll see that expires at has been updated. And once again, let's just do two array in this case. Yeah, now it's using the proper format, which means if you wanted to, all three of these could have their own unique format. They're not bound together and you can configure it much more easily in 5.6. So if we switch over to something like Safari, here's that standard date page on the PHP docs, probably one of the most visited pages ever for, for the PHP docs. But yeah, you can refer to whatever you need here. So maybe, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you just want the day of the week. Maybe when you create an account, it only lasts for a handful of days. I don't know. But yeah, in this case, you would use a lowercase l to grab that. So maybe you want that configured like so. Now, if we give this another run, and then cast it to an array, you can see the end result. Very useful.